Hello, Tyler Disney Integral Group here. This is part three of the Families video series. And in this one, we're gonna be showing how to use a add-in called Parameter Jerk to quickly take a bunch of parameters from your shared parameters file and flash them to your family. It's gonna save you a lot of work. So, first thing you do is, if you don't already have this installed, go to the internet, type in Parameter Jerk. And Merton's 3D is what you want. Uh, so go go to Tools over here, and find the appropriate version of Parameter Jerk. If you have 2014, uh, you're screwed. Yeah. Uh, so I'm in 2013. Um, so Parameter Jerk 2013 is what I want. Uh, this guy Gregory Mertens has developed this tool. It's free. He says pays you want. I recommend you do pay him because this is gonna save your life when it comes to getting parameters into your families. Um, install it. Get it going. I'm not gonna show you how to do that because um, you are smart and you can figure that out. So get Parameter Jerk installed. Get back here in your family editor um, and go to Add-ins, Merton's 3D, Parameter Jerk, and this is the interface. Um, so what you, uh, I've already pointed this to our shared parameters file, and what you can do is you can go through here and just click, uh, control click on all of the parameters that you want, kind of hunting and pecking. Uh, but there's a better way to do that using sets. So what, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Edit Sets tab, and create a new set. I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to say HX for heat exchanger. And I'm going to grab all of the parameters that I want to have uh, in my family. And so I do want location, manufacturer, model, notes, operating weight, eh, service. Uh, I don't really know what a lot of these other ones mean, um, so I'm not going to go with them. Weight is a do operating weight, not weight. I, I don't know why um, that got in there. I don't have any motors or electrical hookups on this, so I don't need any of that stuff. So I can just skip right back down to Heat Exchanger and uh, select these guys. I'm control clicking, by the way, uh, so that I select um, multiple. And I'm going to add. Cool. Done. I'm going to go back to main and uh, click on the set for Heat Exchanger. It's going to give me an error that if I hit continue, um, it does nothing, and I am going to say uh, overwrite existing parameters of the same name, and then I'm going to say do it. It's going to give me a, a couple more errors. Another error, and another error. I'm just going to say that three failed. And to see the log for details. So I'm going to go check out the log. It's saying that model, location, and manufacturer have failed. And um, that happens a lot for some reason. And I think it's because model, manufacturer, and location are already parameters that are in the family. And I don't quite understand it, but it all seems to work out and it seems not to matter. So uh, keep calm and carry on at this point. Um, so at this point you're done. It's it's flashed all of these other parameters successfully. That's what the true means. So you're good to go. Uh, close that. Don't need to save supplemental data, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, all you out there. And go back and check the uh, family types. And here we go. Here are our parameters. This would have taken you 30 minutes, 40 minutes to get all this crap in here. Um, cool. See, it was easy. Done. Loaded into the project. And since the family was already in the project, it's going to say, oh, you're trying to load a family you already have in. What do you want to do? Overwrite the existing version, overwrite the existing version, and its parameter values. You almost never want to overwrite its parameter values as well. So just overwrite the existing version.
And so now I can click on my family that I've got in here. And I can see all of these parameters that are from my shared parameters file that I just loaded in. And they're all good to go. The values are really wonky. Um, apparently my uh, leaving water temperature is absolute zero. Um, but we just won't worry about that. That'll be for the next video.